Let's learn more about type of relations. But before this, we're going to know all of the rules in the functions. First rules, make sure that every element in the domain must have only one image. What do I mean by element in the domain is basically just the object. Where every of the object, you have only one image. Just like in real life, make sure that you have the one, make sure that you only have one girlfriend or one boyfriend or else you're going to be in the trouble. So let us see in the arrow diagram, which it means that if this is domain and this is called domain, every of our object must be linked into only one image. If this happened, then I will say that congratulations, you are a valid functions. Meanwhile, if some of the cases like these, I'm going to show you at the left hand side here, where this is only one person, but you're going to link into multiple result. Can you see that one object linked to two image? And this is definitely not a valid functions. Next, we can eventually prove this kind of relations by using a vertical test. So how do we do is when we have a graph form of functions, imagine this is a functions like this, or we can have a function that represent in term of graph looks like this. Can you guess that which one is a valid and this one which one is not valid? Easy. We can just use a vertical test. So how do we carry out the vertical test? We just cut through in a vertical way. If we cut through one, point then we say that hey you are fine you are a functions meanwhile if i cut through and i find out that you eventually have two intersections then you are in a deep troubles and i will say that no you are not certified as a functions so which kind of relations inventory is can be considered as functions i will say that it could be only one to one or many to one where we see something like just now where we have one to one relations, or maybe a lot of the people who are interested in the same star, like BTS, right? Or maybe Blackpink is a choices. We have a lot of people go into one star. Let's look at one to one relations. This is very straightforward. It means that every of the object will have only one image. So you can imagine that this boy is very loyal to this girl. He wouldn't cheat to have multiple girls. Just very loyal, so it's one to one, very straightforward. So we can see these functions and eventually we see this function before. This function is doing nothing but just process your input by times two. So when you have one as your input, we know you will have two as the result. Same thing when you have three, times two, you have six and so on. So we can see that every of the object have only one image. So this is why we say that this is one to one relations. Next, we're going to look at many to one relations. So this happened when we as the fans of pop star like BTS or maybe Blackpink. So it's not a strange thing for us to see when we have a lot of the peoples going after the same star. So this is what happened when we say many to one. Or maybe you are the handsome or pretty girl and a lot of people go after you. So this is what we call as the many to one relations. So let us see in the math way. So this is, we can think of a, a square functions, the power of two functions when we plug it in negative one or one, we will have the same image. Can you see that? Multiple object maps onto the same image. And same thing here, we have a two and a negative two. We're going to the same result, which is four. And this is what we call as many to one relations. So if you write in the order pair, we can see that negative one and one have the same image. Meanwhile, two and negative two have the same image, which is, it's one supposed to be a four. So they have the same image. So let us look at the one to one 
one to many function now. One to many is like, this is you, but you are not loyal, right? Maybe you see the first drama, you say, wow, this guy is my husband. Then you watch another drama again. Wow, this guy going to be my husband. And seeing another drama again and again and again. This is what we mean by one to many functions. Not good this one. So this is not a valid function. So let us see more in the math, mathematical way. So one to one, one to many relations we can think of like a square root function. Where we take a square root of 4, we know that it might be a negative 2 or 2. Same thing, when we square root 9, we have negative 3 or 3. Because we know that no matter whatever that we square root, we will have a plus and minus of the answer. Why is it like this? Because you can think of, when you have a negative 3 square, you will get 9. And when we square 3, we still get 9. So basically that when we square root, which is the reverse of the square, we can have both answers. So if you put in all of the things into the order pair, you can see that 4 is eventually maps onto multiple answer. It can be negative 2, it also can be 2. Meanwhile, 9 is also the same thing. It can be a negative 3 or 3. So this is why we say it's a one to many and it's not a valid function because why? When we plug in four into our machine, they give us two of the answers. So imagine now, if you ask Google yes or no, and Google return to you yes and no. This is not a function, right? You don't get your answer at all. It just confuse you out. So that's why we say that this is not a valid function because when you ask something, Google gives you two answers, which make you even more confused. The last function is the most confused one where many to many. Just like in the school, maybe this guy love this girl, this guy, this guy also love this girl and maybe this girl like this one and this one. It's so complicated that when your head will feel like to explode. So let us look at the mathematical way. So this is where we have the prime, even and odd numbers. So as we know, 1 is considered as the odd number, but it's not considered as prime number. Remember, prime number start with 2. Meanwhile, 2 can be considered as even number and also prime number. 3 can be considered as odd number and prime number. So let us look at what happened when we group all of the functions into the order pair. So can you see now? These two, same object have multiple image. Can you see that same thing here? Three have eventually multiple image. So I would say that two is be one too many and three is also one too many. So this is where we can see that one too many happen here. If I remove one of the line, if we see it very clearly, can you see that? 2 and 3 is eventually doing one to many relations. Meanwhile, can you see that if you see odd, odd is going to have 1 or 3 as the object. So it means that this image have multiple object. Meanwhile, prime is also the same thing where this prime have 2 and 3 as they are object. So this one is where we say is many to one. So this is eventually combinations of one to many and many to one. So we can say that this is eventually very complicated and this is eventually the many to many relations. Let's try this quiz. So you can pause this video and try to take a paper and do with me. After that, we will do together and check through your answer. So what is the relation here? Since every of the object have only one image, so I would say that this is eventually the one-to-one -one functions. 
set the domain. So again, how to write down domain is going to put in a set. A set is consists of reactor, electrical, door, communication, and oxygen. How about the core domain? Hey, we know the core domain is going to be meltdown, light off, door close, disruption, flush out, and include the suicide. How about the image of the electrical? So we go to electrical and see what is the image. The electrical, what is the image? Hey, we have is light off. So the answer for this one is light off. What is the image? Oh, sorry. What is the object of disruptions? So we go to disruption and find back what is the object. And we know this is going to be the communications. So what is the range for this one? So the range is going to be the result of whoever that is eventually happened, whoever that is already paired up. So suicide is not in the range. So we have meltdown, light off, door, disruption, and flush. What is the function in the order pair? So they want us to write down is in, in the order pair. So we're going to write a big bracket for set. Then we're going to pay it up. Reactor pairing with meltdown. So reactor meltdown. Second pairing, electrical with light off. Third pairing, door and door close. Communication and disruptions. And oxygen to flush out. Once we are done, remember to close your set. So we are done for your quiz. How well you are doing? Please leave a comment and let me know. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.